Hello guys, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to create our first prompt template and the type of the template we are going to create is of the type field generation. Now what does this field generation template does? So field generation template is a feature that basically uses generative AI to help fill in fields with data. Okay, so for example, as a customer, you are talking to a call center person, right? Now call center person is making notes and uh, having the conversation and this conversation is being recorded. Now, based on this conversation, if let's say you want to populate meeting notes, one way is you're manually writing as a customer service agent, you're manually writing all the meeting notes. But what if you can populate that meeting notes based on the conversation with the customer and isn't that's going to save you so much of time? So that is what field generation will do. Field generation will populate the field with the data based on whatever information you will tell. Hey, look at this uh, piece of information and this piece of information and populate this field. So that is what the field generation will do. Field generation in Prompt Builder is a feature that uses generative AI to help fill in fields on your records automatically. The purpose of this is it helps you populate fields with useful information like summaries or descriptions without having to type everything manually. So you having to type everything manually, it will automatically populate the field with the value. The way it works is you create a field generation prompt template in Salesforce and this template will tell the AI what kind of information you need in the field. Okay, so we are going to see how to create this template and this template will automatically populate the field with the value you're going to tell. The way is the one of the example is imagine you have a field for meeting notes on a contacts record. Instead of writing the notes yourself, the AI can generate a summary based on the conversation details you provide. So based on the conversation details, you can automatically fetch the meeting notes. You can create the meeting notes. The AI can create the meeting notes and populate the notes into that field. Now, what is the benefit of all this is going to save you a lot of time and effort rather than you doing everything manually, AI is going to take care of it. Okay, so let's go over to Salesforce and create our first template. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my Salesforce here. And the first thing I'm going to write is prompt builder in the setup. And uh, if you see here, you can see the prompt builder is here. The way to go here is you go to the setup and uh, under the quick find, in this quick find, you will say prompt builder and we'll click on this prompt builder here. And then we will create our first prompt template. So we'll click on new prompt template. And uh, what is the template type? So there are four template types that are available. You have flex, record summary and sales email and field generation. We are going to choose field generation as the type here. And then what is the name of the template? I'm going to say populate account description. Okay. So let's say what I'm doing as part of this template is there is a field available on the account object called as description. And this is the field I am going to populate with data based on the related opportunities and the related cases the account has. So let's say with the account, there are two opportunities and one case associated with it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to populate the description field with the summary of the opportunities as well as the cases that are tied to that account. So this is what I'm populating the field with. So what is the description here? I'm going to say populate account description field with data with related opportunities and related cases to the account. What object? So we are populating which field? We are populating the description field. Now, where is this field present? This field is present on the account object. So I'm going to select account here. And which field we are populating the data? We are populating the data on the description field. It's a long text area field, so it can have large amount of text in the field. And then we'll click on next here. Now in the prompt template workspace, here is where I'm going to write my prompt template. And I'm going to say, please, populate you can say in a natural language please populate the data in the description field with the following details 
this is just a simple I, I have written please populate the data in the description field with the following details and what details I want to do let's say account name and uh, where I'm going to get the account name from so on the account object there is a field available called name so this is where the account name will be present opportunities so where are the opportunities opportunities are tied to the account so I'm going to go ahead and look for opportunities here so all the related list is also available so opportunities are there cases I'm going to look for cases here account and then we'll go under cases okay so please populate the data in the description field with the following details and I have all these so what are these these are placeholders so what is this this is my template right now what will happen during the runtime all these placeholders will be replaced by the actual data so and then here in the template properties you have two types of models means which type of models you want to use there's a standard model and there's a custom model in the standard model you have all the list of the AI models that are available let's say we want to use OpenAI GPT-4 so you can select that model as well and then here it is going to ask you for a testing purposes I'm going to go ahead and hit save here and then it is asking me related record so this is more like testing your template so if you remember in the email template also there is an option to verify and kind of create an email and you pass in the record ID then what it does is it fetches the information of that from the record and populates it in the template so same way we are giving this related record here and this related record could be anything it has to be an account record so first important thing is we'll go over to the account object and we will populate opportunities and cases on a particular account right this is the org that we're using so we're limited on the data so let's say I go over to all accounts here and uh, there is an account called Kristen Strong so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and let's say we add some opportunities and cases so I'm going to go ahead and click on new and here I'll say opportunity name I'll say opportunity one and then the type is existing customer upgrade source is web order number is one close date is 30th amount is 8000 let's say stage is qualification and hit save so this is my first opportunity I've created I'm also going to create another opportunity and I'll call this as opportunity two and this is the type is existing customer uh, downgrade then you have partner referral amount is 7000 let's say we change the type to existing customer replacement close date is 30 stage is closed one and then hit save so two opportunities are tied to this account Kristen strong and now we will add a case here and we'll call this as uh, we can say type is mechanical case reason is uh, breakdown We'll select breakdown here uh, status is new case origin is phone and medium is let's say high the priority is high here and then let's give some description and subject okay issues with installation of refrigerator let's say this is the case I have created and this is my description here and hit save so I've created one case and two opportunities and I'm going to use this account as my testing here so I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and I will put Kristen strong here and then that will populate and this will give me a preview window so what it is going to do is it is going to fetch the account name it will fetch the opportunities that are tied to the account it will fetch the cases and it is going to present a response which is going to look very um, human like and more customized you can see here this is the response it came account name is Kristen strong opportunities it has all this information uh, cases is this these are the cases associated please note that this information is based on the data provided and we need to be updated for verified accuracy okay so here I can change this and I can say please provide a summary of the opportunities and the opportunities and the cases associated with the account 
okay this is what my template is because it kind of gave me a very um, what do you call I didn't like this response so something to do with my prompt right so please provide a summary of the opportunities and the cases associated with the account using the following information using the below information okay and now I'm gonna save it and we'll preview it again and let's see the response will change or not okay so now your prompt is different so your response will automatically will be a little different the account under the name of Christian Strong, so this is much more nicer written, has two opportunities associated with it. The first opportunity identified as opportunity one with the ID of this has an amount of 8,000 and is in qualification stage. Expected close date for this opportunity is September 30. The second opportunity identified as opportunity two with the ID of this has an amount of this and has reached the close one. So look at it. This is much more nicer response than what I got in the previous uh, temp template so this is what I like so I'm going to go ahead and activate it now how do I use this onto my record right so I this is my prompt builder it is created I've created a prompt template here using these information and this is just a preview now how do I use this information into my account record so what I'll do is I'll go over to the account here this is the most important step and right now if you go to the description field there is a field description and it has this pencil icon next to it now what will happen is we'll go over to edit page and we have to update this page to make it a dynamic okay so here I'm going to go over to the details page click on it and it says upgrade now you can configure record detail sections and fields right inside the lightning app builder upgrade to dynamic forms and start putting individual fields and sections anywhere on the page so make sure you upgrade it once you upgrade it click on next here we'll choose the account layout and finish okay so now we have updated this now the other important thing is you will select the description field so we'll we'll go over to the description field and here it is asking you for a prompt template do you have a prompt template yes I created one and the name of the template was populate account description right so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this over here and then hit the save make sure it is activated so I'm going to go ahead and click on activation and it is already as org default so we are good so what I did was once I have created my template I need to include that template onto my account record page and the way is you have to upgrade it to a dynamic form and once you have upgraded you went over to the description field and then you basically said that this field is tied to this prompt the data of the field is going to come from this prompt template this is what you're saying Einstein generative AI and it is saying that populate the data using this prompt template now if I go back to my account record so once I go back here and let's say make sure you refresh the page couple times it takes few minutes so refresh the page here and then let's go over to the description field okay now if you see here it has a pencil icon but there is a star next to it that means this is now more of a AI generative so once you click on this click on the star and that thing now it is asking now once I click again on this one this pop-up will come up and it says need help filling out the details Einstein helps you fill out generative AI enabled field so now this became a generative AI enabled field and it is analyzing your data analyzing the request it is going to fetch the information that is tied to the um, this particular account the opportunities that are tied the cases that are tied and this is the response that I gave now you have the ability to either use this response if you want to use it you can use it you can update it now if you want to and then you can save it so now what we've done is instead of the customer agent writing the meeting notes himself from scratch now you have a generative field which automatically populates the field values based on other fields or other pieces of information and it populates the value into that field isn't this impressive because it has saved you ton of time and effort to populate this field so now if somebody has to look at this field gets an idea on what is happening so I'm just gave you an example here that I 
pulled up information from account record as well as the related opportunities that are tied to the record as well as the cases that are tied to the account record. So you can use the same way you can fetch information from other entities as well, related entities as well, or within this account object, if you wanted to fetch information from other fields, you can do that. So this is an example of field generation. So in the field generation, you're populating the fields with the value based on your template. Okay. So what template did we use? This is the template we used here and it is providing a summary of the opportunities and the cases associated with the account using the below information and this is the information that it is referencing you provided the kind of placeholders and then it is pulling up the information from those respective fields and the related list etc and then it is coming up with the response and then what we did was we updated our account page as dynamic form and then we were able to tag our description field as a generative AI field and once we did that we are able to use this template prompt and add it onto our record okay so this is how you create a field generation template I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video thank you